Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elisa Abdullaeva and I'm here to help you to create a harmonious and happy relationship between men and women. And today we're going to talk about what is the inconvenient truth that is happening right now pretty much everywhere in the world, but we are hiding and we're sweeping it under the rug not to face it. I've seen a few days ago a really extraordinary video that I'm going to put at the end in the description that I recommend for everyone to see. Where we're heading right now, by the way things are going between men and women, is actually very predictable. <clears throat> and very soon we're going to end up in the same situation that most men and women are facing and dealing with in Sweden, Norway, and all of those northern European countries. And for those who don't know what's going on there, I would like to share. So at this point, what's happening, I'll use a Sweden as an example, even though the same thing happens in Norway and other countries. Um, women and men live completely separate. Men and women have flats, and the housing are built there in a such a way that they have only flats for single people. Because at this point, men and women don't get married there. And oopsie happens, meaning women do get pregnant. And guess how do they raise their children? By themselves. But the worst thing, they don't even raise children. Do you know who raises their kids? Government. Because the taxes are so high, kids are pretty much raised in daycare, then in elementary, kindergarten, I mean, and then elementary and school. And pretty much women are working all the time. They don't have relationship with fathers. And so kids don't see fathers at all. And they hardly see moms because moms are working all the time. And it's a very liberal country, and you would think, wow, women have so many rights because 44% of the women are running the parliament or congresses there. And you'll think, wow, what an amazing liberal country. But no, that's not the case. Men are paying such a high taxes for those children um, that were born not even in the marriage they're paying taxes for a lot of subsidies so the kids can go to free daycare so they can go to universities and school and it seems like free education free medical system right it seems like it's a great thing but no it's not because women are there in a such a masculine energy they are pursuing the success and career to the degree that they look at men as like, okay, well, we'll get together when I want to. We can have sex whenever I want to. And then we're going to go home to separate homes. Wow. This is what's happening right now in northern countries. Women are going to the gym. They work out. They go to work. They're success-oriented. And pretty much forget about relationship and marriages. Not even marriage, relationships. They don't even have relationships. Ladies, we're here in the United States. We can stop this nonsense. Because I see how people are so hungry. They still go on in dating sites and hoping they can meet Mr. Right or Mrs. Wonderful and have a relationship. But... This is all coming to an end because we are heading in the same direction as Sweden and Norway and Finland and all other countries. And unless we do something about it right now, the predictable future is that we're going to be in the same place as those Northern European countries. Because the more ladies you're shifting to masculine energy and you're becoming this feminist and you're fighting how men are horrible, the closer we're getting to those Northern European countries. And let's be really honest. Ladies, the way we're born, the way we're made by our creator, 
is for centuries and thousands of years, we were like deer, like an animal deer. And men were like hunters with a gun chasing us. But do you know how the dating scene, uh, scene looks like right now? A deer is no longer this graceful deer that runs away from hunter and hunter is mesmerized by it and tries to catch her and chase her. The deer is facing the hunter with the mouth of a crocodile with teeth and hunters are running away with God thinking, oh my God, this <laughs> crocodiles, alligators with the legs like deer are chasing them fast away. And men have nothing to do with us women. They're just running as fast as possible. Because if you go anywhere in a restaurant, if you go anywhere in the park, in the social gatherings, the truth is men are scared and intimidated of us women. We have to be here responsible. They're not even flirting. They're not even looking because they, are, first of all, are very scared of the rejection. They're afraid of the rejection. And we've been rejecting them right and left, right and left. And at this point, they're just even afraid to look and flirt. And so how are people meeting right now? The only option they have is going on those dating sites match.com harmony and others you guys know this better and then you are competing with two or three hundred other women and men who are putting whatever that they want on the profile and they are lying 90 percent on their profile uh who they are how they look the age the body parts and their career and financial status so basically you're meeting complete stranger. And do you think those complete strangers really seriously interested in committing and having a relationship? Not at all. They've been gone, men gone through so much rejection and through so much pain that they're sitting there and they're just looking for hookups. And you cannot blame them for that because they don't see any quality women out there. And they're scared and they're intimidated by those women that have those crocodile mouths. They used to be deers, but they're no more deers anymore. And so, ladies, I invite you, if you're really committed in changing things around and getting back to femininity and being this graceful, beautiful deer that walks on this beautiful field, and the way she walks, everybody is just mesmerized and they're enjoying the beauty because that's what we're born for. We're born naturally skittish, like deers and rabbits. We're not born naturally like crocodiles and alligators. <laughs> so I invite you to shift back to femininity. And there's three steps how you can start shifting to femininity. Number one, grow long hair. Men love when women have long hair. Number two, start wearing dresses and skirts. Get away from those jeans and leggings, jeans and leggings and pants. It reminds them of them, men. And it's not sexy if you think that it's sexy to wear always jeans and pants. Not at all. Men are attracted to women who are wearing long hair, beautiful dresses, skirts, high heels, and not those flats and sneakers, flats and sneakers. The more we're getting comfortable, the more we're looking closer to men themselves. Why we need comfort for? To work and work more? Hmm. That's questionable. And number three, start driving in the car in the back seat. You have a boyfriend, you have a husband. Instead of sitting in the front seat with him and being like a co-pilot and telling him all the time, go right, go left, stop, and this, and this, and that. Because I've noticed that myself. If I'm ever sitting in the front seat, I'm so skittish the way my husband is driving. He gets so close to the other cars that I'm telling him, slow down, do this and do that. 
and it's annoys him and I'm really scared. So lately I'm sitting in the back and I feel like a queen. Husband is driving, I'm sitting in the back and I'm talking to our son and we're having a great time. I'm no longer scared because I feel like I'm taken care of. And that's feminine. Being in the back seat instead of poking your husband or your boyfriend how he needs to drive because he doesn't need a co-pilot. Outside of that, what I would recommend, but that's going to be an extra bonus, because sometimes women ask me, Alisa, do you think so I'm becoming feminine? And I see that there's nowhere closer to femininity uh, where she's at, because she's so driven, she owns her business, or she goes to work and she's trying to climb the corporate ladder. With that mentality, no ladies it will be very hard for you to shift the femininity. But at least start with that three points. Grow your hair, start wearing dresses uh, and skirts, and start riding in a back seat. And the fourth, it's a bonus if you're ready. Start working part-time. Start decreasing your hours. Stop checking your phone after work what your boss or colleagues are doing. Stop doing that. Turn off that working hours at 5 p.m. You're done with work at 5 p.m., then go home and be a woman. Be a mother, be a wife, be a girlfriend. Cut it out. But ideally, if you can start working part-time, you're going to start shifting to femininity. But why, ladies, you're afraid to stop working or shift to working part-time is because you're scared to rely on men. You are scared, but this fear it comes from because of lack of faith. When we don't have relationship with higher power, of course, how can we fully rely on ourselves or on a man that we're dating or in a late relationship or even husband? When you have faith in your heart, fear start to go away. It gets smaller and smaller and faith becomes big. And when you have a big faith, and that's where you have sense of security because you have a relationship with a higher power. So I hope that's been helpful. With that said, namaste. Until next time.